Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Lab Manager on-demand webinar presentation. These webinars are designed to discuss a variety of topics of interest to laboratory professionals and connect them with the latest tools, techniques, and technologies for their lab. Before we begin, I'd like to point out that you may move or resize any of the open windows simply by grabbing them at the top or stretching them at the bottom right corner. Today's discussion is entitled Gas Generators, the Safer Approach to Your Gas Supply, and I'm very pleased to introduce today's speaker, John Sparenza. John is Vice President of Commercial Product Sales at Proton Onsite. Mr. Sparenza joined Proton Onsite in 1997 and was involved in the development of Proton's core technology and industrial product line. Prior to joining Proton, Mr. Sparenza spent 12 years at Hamilton Sunstrad Division of United Technologies Corporation, developing PEM fuel cells and electrolyzer products for military and aerospace applications. Mr. Sparenza has been granted 18 patents to date in the areas of control system, fuel cells and electrolyzer systems, and power plant efficiency and improvements. Mr. Sprenza has been published numerous papers, case studies, and articles on the advantage of on-site gas generation for use in industrial and analytical laboratory work, and has a degree in electrical engineering technology from the University of Hartford. The purpose of today's presentation is to provide information on the generation of hydrogen and nitrogen gases on-site and on-demand which has been shown to dramatically improve the safety of lab operations while providing an attractive economic return on the capital investment made by the lab. Laboratories today performing analytical chemistry require the use of a reliable and safe source of hydrogen, helium, and nitrogen gases in order to perform their testing most efficiently and effectively. The main uses of these gases are gas chromatography and liquid chromatography mass spectrometry applications, and we will focus primarily on those two main applications today. Several factors should be considered by any lab using hydrogen, helium, or nitrogen gas. The main consideration or decision to be made is whether to have these gases delivered or generating them on site using an on-site gas generator. In order to make the decision, the advantages of on-site generating need to be fully understood first. The other consideration when using helium as a GC carrier gas is to consider switching from helium to hydrogen carrier gas. The growing helium supply crisis um, has created a lot of interest in making the switch uh, for both reliability and economic reasons. Let's start our discussion about lab gas supply with helium and hydrogen gases. These gases bring tremendous value to the operations they are used in because of their inherent low density and high purity for carrier gas and FID gas chromatography applications. With that value also comes challenges. The majority of those challenges can be identified with the supply and storage logistics associated with them. In order to start understanding some of those challenges, we need to first realize where those gases originate and how they are distributed to labs in North America. There are 10 main hydrogen production facilities in North America. The main production facilities are located in New Orleans, Louisiana, Niagara Falls, New York, East Chicago, Indiana, and Ontario, California. Hydrogen in liquid form are trucked from those facilities to smaller packaging plants, which break down that bulk liquid supply into gaseous tube trailer or cylinder packages that are distributed to labs around the country. Helium comes primarily from one source in the United States. The largest helium reserve in the world exists in Masterson, Texas. Helium follows the same distribution model as hydrogen, but obviously may have a higher logistical burden depending on where your lab is located in the United States. So as stated in the previous slide, helium and hydrogen are packaged into tube trailers or cylinders to be distributed wherever needed. 
This method of supply involves multiple stages of handling, extensive amounts of energy in the form of diesel fuel used in the trucking process, and human capital to handle, track, and manage those deliveries. There are many points of risk, albeit safety due to mishandling a high-pressure gas, or cost due to the volatility of fuel pricing or gas shortages, or risks associated with reliability of supply due to the many stages that are involved in the distribution chain. Going beyond the traditional modes of supply for helium and hydrogen, there are a few other things to consider when deciding whether to use helium or switch to hydrogen for carrier gas applications specifically. Using hydrogen for carrier gas applications provides faster results. That means your lab can process GC samples twice as fast when using hydrogen as a carrier gas. Hydrogen pricing, especially when generated on site, is much more predictable and affordable. This is primarily due to the helium shortage, but delivery logistics also play a huge role. Hydrogen is an abundant resource. As a matter of fact, hydrogen is the most abundant resource in the universe. On the contrary, helium is a limited resource. That makes it susceptible to volatile supply and, of course, pricing. And the most attractive aspect of hydrogen is the fact that it can be produced on site and on demand, eliminating the volatility of delivery altogether, while increasing the safety of your lab by limiting the storage of bulk hydrogen. The global helium shortage has caused a supply crisis worldwide that has resulted in high prices and an unstable supply. Even though the crisis has leveled off over the past year or so, it is certainly not over. Remember, helium is a limited resource. The problem cannot simply go away. So I think it is safe to say that anyone who is responsible for supplying gas to their lab would agree that managing their gas supply safely and efficiently is one of their chief concerns. Whether it is transportation disruptions, volatile pricing, consistent gas purity, or safe handling practices, many lab managers are considering alternative gas supply methods to improve their operations. Well, Proton gets it. We've developed a line of products that addresses those concerns and creates an, al an attractive alternative to your current gas supply needs. Let's start by talking about hydrogen gas generators and the advantage they bring to your lab operations. Hydrogen gas generators produce high purity hydrogen at pressure so you can supply the hydrogen your instrument needs on demand, eliminating the volatility and risks associated with the delivery, handling, and storage of gas cylinders in your lab. An on-site hydrogen gas generator can safely and efficiently provide both FID and carrier gas for gas chromatography applications while providing an ROI that is measured in weeks on average. Proton hydrogen gas generator uses pure water and electricity to generate high purity hydrogen at a fraction of the cost of delivered hydrogen or helium while increasing lab productivity and reducing risk. As the demand for hydrogen increases in a lab, so does the safety risk. Many labs are currently storing thousands of cubic feet of hydrogen within their facility to meet their demand for FID and carrier gas. If a leak occurs in the piping or there's a mishap during the change-out process, the release of the full inventory of that stored gas becomes a real threat. There is an immediate hazard present at the point of release, creating an explosive environment. On the contrary, a proton hydrogen gas generator, even though capable of supplying up to 18 liters per minute of hydrogen when needed, has a limited capacity of supply. In the same scenario as described in the cylinder mishap, 
the hydrogen generator would only feed the leak to its maximum capacity, which does not create a hazard in a space that is properly ventilated to OSHA standards. So you're a lab manager who has made the right decision, and now you need to know how to select the right gas generator for your lab. Whether you have one instrument or 50 instruments, Proton has a generator to meet your needs. A proton hydrogen gas generator works on the principle of demand following. So once you've determined your maximum flow requirement and selected the model generator that can meet or exceed that demand, everything else becomes automatic. The hydrogen generator, once installed and initiated, will sense the demand of your instruments and adjust the gas output to match it precisely. This method allows gas to be delivered in the safest and most efficient manner for your lab. Again, whether you have one instrument or 50 instruments, there is a safer alternative to traditional gas supply for your lab. Proton's lab server model provides those larger labs with a significant reduction in safety risk that comes with dramatically reduced hazardous gas inventory. The hydrogen gas lab server can be connected to the same existing infrastructure that was put in place to support a large bulk tank or a pack of cylinders, but will eliminate the hazardous inventory that's associated with those large supplies of hydrogen. The lab server model contains less than one standard liter of hydrogen even when it's producing gas at its max capacity to feed over 50 instruments. The bulk gas equivalent would be thousands of cubic feet to do the same, making it the safest and most economical solution by far. In summary, the on-site hydrogen gas generator solution will provide your lab with a safer work environment, a more cost-effective supply of FID and carrier gas-grade hydrogen, a faster sample rate when used for carrier gas versus helium, and the peace of mind that comes with a safe and reliable source of a critical resource for your lab. The other gas that is critical to most labs involved in analytical chemistry is nitrogen. Although nitrogen is an inert gas, that is generally not considered a hazard in, in small amounts, it carries with it a real risk associated with asphyxiation. The traditional modes of supply for nitrogen are very similar to those uh, supply modes for helium and hydrogen. Uh, when it comes to gaseous high pressure delivery, uh, tube trailer tubes, uh, stationary or mobile, are used for high volumes as well as single cylinders or packs of cylinders where higher volumes are needed for uh, specific laboratories. The other method for nitrogen delivery is um, in its liquid form. And in that case, uh, they use doers that deliver uh, liquid nitrogen to laboratories, usually on mobile um, cylinders that contain the liquid hydrogen, uh, nitrogen, and that nitrogen is turned into its gaseous form when introduced to a lower uh, atmospheric pressure. The asphyxiation hazard of nitrogen is real. If nitrogen is released from one of those bulk tanks, whether a low-pressure liquid doer or a high-pressure tube or a cylinder, the room environment quickly becomes a hazardous area. The oxygen is quickly replaced by nitrogen, creating an asphyxiation hazard that can lead to serious injury or even death. The hazards of nitrogen gas storage can be eliminated with the use of a nitrogen gas generator while providing other advantages to the lab. Just like a hydrogen gas generator, a nitrogen gas generator has a limited capacity and cannot create a dangerously low oxygen level in a space that is ventilated to OSHA standards. A nitrogen generator, on average, is limited to single-digit cubic foot 
of gas output, while a nitrogen doer or a bulk tank, even a pack of cylinders, will have 5,000 cubic feet of gas stored on average. Even though a nitrogen gas generator has a limited capacity, they can keep up with any size lab's nitrogen gas requirements. From a couple of doers a week to a dozen cylinders a day, there's a gas generator available to meet the demand. There have been several on-site gas generator advancements that have taken place over the past decade, and it's worth talking a little bit about that next. As it relates to nitrogen gas generators specifically, compressor technology advancements have been able to extend product life and decrease the, the frequency of uh, maintenance cycles. As far as hydrogen gas generation, uh, the introduction of PEM technology, which is uh, a solid electrolyte technology that does not utilize caustic chemicals, provides inherent safety to lab operations. Quality, quality standards um, from, uh, that are followed by manufacturers of gas generators today are usually within ISO 9001 uh, certifications, and uh, also uh, manufacturers are following most international safety standards as well. Scalability uh, for both hydrogen gas generators as well as nitrogen um, has, uh, has increased over the years, uh, specific to hydrogen. Hydrogen gas generators can now be produced uh, and supplied with larger capacities that make the helium to hydrogen conversion for those larger laboratories a, uh, a reality and an economic uh, solution. Whether your lab application is gas chromatography or liquid chromatography or both, Proton's product portfolio is broad and can provide a safe, reliable solution for your laboratory. Proton OnSite has been in business for over 20 years. We are the world's largest supplier of PEM-based hydrogen generator products. We have over 2,600 installations in over 75 countries worldwide, and we take pride in the fact that we serve a large variety of applications and markets, including laboratories, with a broad suite of products that are designed and built to very high standards. We look forward to providing those products to you and to your lab in the future. Thank you, and be sure to visit us at www.protononsite.com to learn more about our broad range of products for your laboratory and how they can make your operating environment much safer and much more efficient. Thank you. Well, thank you very much for your presentation today, John. And to our audience, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to John directly. His email, as you can see, is available on the screen now. On behalf of Lab Manager, I'd like to thank John Speranza for his presentation today and Proton Onsite for supporting this Lab Manager on-demand presentation. For more information on Lab Manager's other webinars or to find out more about the latest laboratory tools and technologies, please visit our website at www.labmanager.com. Thank you and enjoy your day.